What's up, Bibheads? Today I'm excited to guide you through the process of identifying those pesky hitches in your video game. If you're in the midst of game development and are facing strange lag that you just can't seem to track down, you landed in the right spot. I'm going to walk you through two effective methods of uncovering these hitches. The first involves using Unreal Insights, a powerful tool that comes bundled with the Unreal Engine. And the second utilizes a fantastic plugin I stumbled upon in the marketplace a while back. Important note, it's worth mentioning that Unreal Marketplace is soon transitioning to a new platform called FAB. While I'm not entirely sure of how this change will affect Unreal Engine 4, I thought it's essential to mention it. Now let's dive back into the topic at hand. During my development of a multiplayer game, I encountered a frustrating issue, severe, stu severe stuttering that occurred whenever a new round began. Today I'll share the methods I employed to diagnose and ultimately resolve this problem. And hopefully, you can apply these techniques to your own projects. To kick things off, you need to record data from your game to effectively identify the hitches. Begin by creating a new Unreal Engine project, which we will refer to as Record Insight, for the purpose of this tutorial. To find the right command arguments, I turn to Google, which provided me with severe useful methods. I'll show you how to input these command arguments directly through the editor. Navigate to Edit, Preferences, and in the left sidebar, select Level Editor and then choose Play. Scroll down to the section labeled Additional Command Parameters and paste in the command I provided in the description below. While it is possible to track more information than I've included, my command is designed to cover the most common scenarios. Next, ensure that you launch the Unreal Insight software that comes with your Unreal Engine installation. You can typically find it in the following directory. C Drive, Program Files, Epic Games, Unreal, UE underscore 5.4 or whatever engine you're using. Engine, Binaries, Windows 64. Look for the executable file named unrealinsight.exe. If you plan to use this tool regularly, consider creating a shortcut on your desktop for easy access. Now it's time to record some gameplay. Aim for approximately 10 minutes of recording or depending on your game. Focus particularly on those moments that you notice hitches occurring. In my experience, I faced a significant hitch that lasted between 5 to 7 seconds each time the round will reset, which was problematic as it occasionally caused players to disconnect. After recording, I proceeded to analyze the data using the net profiler back in the UE4 days, which is now replaced by a real insight. This provides a comprehensive overview of all threads and calls. Although I wasn't familiar with every detail presented, the graph made it clear where the hitches were happening, the duration of the game frames it display at the top, and by clicking on a spike in the timeline, I was able to view all events tracks associated with that hitch. Zooming in on the larger spikes revealed a track labeled wait until task complete, which was taking a hefty 64 ms. I suspected this was happening at the end of each round as the spikes typically align with the conclusion of each round. After playing through about 8 rounds, it became evident that each round correlated with a spike in the data. Upon making the discovery, I examined my blueprints for any events triggered during the round reset. And to my surprise, I found an event executing 3 nested for loops. This process was overloading the CPU as it was responsible for removing players and weapons, then responding them, which was the root cause of the hitch. After I optimized my code, the hitch vanished and the frequency of the spikes decreased significantly. If the previous method feels a bit overwhelming, I have a simpler solution for you. Though it may provide somewhat limited information, the next method involves a plugin called Phrase Per Second in Hitches Tool. This plugin enables you to identify hitches more swiftly with the editor. The creator, Tim Van Kan, has produced excellent tutorial videos that guide you through each usage. Here's a quick rundown on how to use this plugin. First, I created a new project and titled it Hitches. I then added the FPS plugin to the project from my library. This plugin will alert you to any hitches occurring within a 0.5 second time frame. To demonstrate its functionality, I opened my character blueprint and added a node send FPS. I labeled this node and attached it to a print statement to confirm it was functionally correctly in the editor. Next, I accessed the plugin, navigated to the blueprint section, and executed the FPS save utility widget. I then created a widget to display the HUD that accompanies the plugin. Upon running the game, I observe a yellow number indicating a minor hitch. 
which I suspect it was by the editor interacting with Windows rather than the game itself. Every time you play the game in the editor, it generates a log containing a date and time of the session. To access these logs, navigate to your project folder, then go to the save folder followed by the save games folder. Open the FPS underscore stats folder, then open up a file that corresponds to the date you played. Simply copy the file name and paste it into the plugin widget to load the recorded data. As you can see, the hitch tool recorded the hitch that happened earlier in yellow. And you can also look at the graph to see the severity of the hitch. It is yellow, so it is not that severe. Now let's expose how to intentionally create some lag by implementing a for loop. We'll run this loop 100 times to observe its impact on performance. I'll spot an actor 100 times at the coordinate set to 000. After executing the game, everything ran smoothly without any hitches. To push the limits further, I increased the loop to 1000 iteration and still encountering no hitches. So I decided to add a delay of 2 seconds before starting the loop and escalate it to 10,000 iteration. As anticipated, the game froze and the HUD displayed red numbers indicating a significant drop in FPS. Upon checking the newly generated log, the hitch was recorded and the plugin successfully identified which blueprint was responsible for the lag. This is the beauty of this FPS plugin. Just remember to add this note on places you suspect lag and hitches are happening. It assists you to determine where to implement monitoring nodes for hitches, particularly in areas where the high loops counts or busy blueprint nodes. In conclusion, you now possess two effective methods for identifying hitches within your game. If you want to see more depth tool videos, feel free to click on the video to the right. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Happy developing and may your game run smoothly without any hitches.